back in the White House for another four years. He's already dealing, though, with a major shakeup. Political science professor Jason Johnson joins me now. Okay, j just yesterday, let's talk about this first. General David Petraeus resigned as CIA director. Uh, that's after admitting to having an affair, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the timing I find quite interesting. But what does this mean for the Obama administration? Well, a couple of things. You would think the head of the CIA would be better at keeping an affair secret. <laughs> it would be part of their job. But I think for the administration, uh, they're lucky. Uh, you did not want something like this occurring during the campaign season. It would have been a real mess, a real black eye for the administration. I'm sure there are probably a lot of other things afoot other than just this affair. Uh, but now it's fairly simple. Petraeus will leave. Barack Obama will find a replacement for him. But it happens after the campaign season, so he's safe. Okay. So maybe more information is going to come out. We'll see. Uh, mm -hmm. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Okay, so she said she was going to, you know, move on. Mm -hmm. Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner said he's moving on. Um, how does this impact the president's inner circle? Well, th th here's the thing. I don't know that Hillary Clinton was ever in his inner circle. I mean, my ah. sources tell me that the reason that Clinton said she was going to retire after the campaign is because she never wanted to campaign for Obama. And as Secretary of State, she wouldn't have to do that. Uh, but it's really normal. Most people, if they're in the cabinet, they either leave two years in or they leave right after the election. So there's going to be massive turnover. There's going to be a lot of new job opportunities. This is actually pretty normal for most administrations. And Republicans, they still have control of the House. Mm -hmm. Uh, Democrats have control of the Senate. Uh, so once again, President Obama is working with a divided Congress. How can he improve the relationship so, you know, across party lines of people are talking together and making decisions together. In, in some ways, he's going to be able to fix it. In some ways, he can't. Uh, look, John Boehner, it was surprising. John Boehner said, look, we're going to accept some taxes under certain circumstances. I think the Republicans recognize the, the sort of go apocalypse that they faced on Tuesday, a horrible election. And I think they might be willing to negotiate more. The other thing is Barack Obama is now, he's a lame duck, but he's like, I never have to run for election again. So he can be a lot more aggressive and assertive in negotiations than he has been in the past. And I, I don't think all gridlock is going to disappear, but I think they're going to get more things done. Okay, we'll have to see. Mm -hmm. um, Hillary Clinton, by the way, let's go back to this. I, I got to <laughs> ask you. So some people are saying, okay, she's going to run, mm -hmm. you know, all that. Um, she, Joe Biden, he's dropped hints about it. Right. Let, first of all, let's look at this uh, this clip here real quick. Um, here's what Biden said after he voted on Tuesday. Good. The last time you're going to vote for yourself, you think? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, so Jason, um, I think that leaves the doors open. Right. What do you right. think? Look, Joe Biden's going to want to run. Uh, I don't know that he will. I mean, he'll he'll be very old uh, by by 2016. Hillary Clinton is probably going to think about running, but in all honesty, it's going to depend on what the country looks like in 2016. I mean, look, the, America could be a very different place. We could have a great economy, which will mean you're going to have a lot of Democrats running. We could have a worse economy. There could be a lot of different circumstances. So I think now is too soon. Believe it or not, I think it's too soon <laughs> to speculate as to who's going to run in 2016, except for Chris Christie. So many things we could talk about. <laughs> okay, we'll have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Jason Johnson, thank you. Thank you. Malala's dream may finally come